Today we're going to be talking about the five themes of geography. Before we talk about the five themes of geography, we need to know what is geography. So geography is the study of the earth and the way people live on it and use it. So you want to be thinking about the earth how, and how people interact with the earth. So there are five themes of geography. There's location, place, human environment and interaction, movement, and region. The first one that we're going to talk about is the location. Location is where places are located. Everything on the earth has an absolute location or exact position. Usually we use latitude and longitude to find the exact position of a location. So I want you to think about where is your location today? Right now as we're sitting in school, we are located in Belleville. The second theme that we're going to talk about is place. Place describes the characteristics of the location and the people who live in that location. How would you describe the location that you live in? Would it be a city? A suburb? Do you live on the farm? In the countryside? Where do you live? How would you describe the place you are right now? Look around. What kind of characteristics do you see? What would you call it? I would call the place that we are right now a school. The third theme of geography is called human environment interaction. And this is really how humans are interacting with the environment that surrounds them. So I want you to think about how have humans changed the environment? as well as how is the environment influencing the way that we live. So if you look over here in the pictures, we have how we have changed the environment, and we also have a picture of how the environment influences how we live. So if we lived in a location that had lots of snow, we would probably be snowboarding instead of swimming. But if we lived in Florida, we would probably be swimming instead of snowboarding. Now thinking about where you live, what part does the environment play in your community? How does the environment affect how you live your life? The fourth theme that we're going to talk about is called movement. Now this is the movement of materials, people, or even ideas. Now thinking about that, materials and people, we usually would be moving them in airplanes, on boats, maybe on trains, or even in cars. But I want you to think about ideas. How would you move ideas around the world? Now if you were thinking about maybe using the telephone, or writing a letter, or even using email, that's a great way to be moving ideas around the world. What do you see move in your community? What are some things that you've noticed that have movement? The fifth theme that we're going to talk about is called region. Now region is an area with common features that set it apart from other areas. Now thinking about regions, you want to think about what do the locations have in common that set it apart. So we would have the south, which would be a region, and thinking about that you would think about the different weather it has. So warmer weather would be classified as being in the south. If you were in the north, you would have colder weather. Can you think of some other ways to separate our country into different regions? Okay, now that you've learned about the five themes of geography, which are location, place, human environment interaction, movement, and region, we're going to have a quick review. 
So if you describe the means of transportation available to and from school, what theme would you be using? If you guess movement, you are correct. If you used a map to find the exact position of a place, what theme would you be using? The key words here are exact position. If you guess location, you're correct. Number three says, what sports are examples of human environment interaction? So think about how does the environment determine which kinds of sports you can play in that location. If you thought of baseball, swimming, or even skiing, you're on the right track. And last question, which theme would you be using if you wrote a letter describing your town? The key words would be describing your town. If you guess place, then you're correct. Remember, place is talking about the different characteristics of a location. Location, though, talks about the exact position. Those can be tricky, so try to keep them separate. Now that we've had a quick review, I want you to practice the five themes of geography. I want you to pick one of the themes and tell me how it's affected your life. You should be able to write a couple of sentences about your theme that you chose and how it's affecting your life. You might need to describe the exact place that you're located at. You might need to describe the characteristics of the place. You can maybe describe the human environment interactions that happen there. You might describe the movement that's happening in the location you're at. Or you might also describe the region in which you are located.